Good morning, my friends. As we center ourselves on Jesus, as we come together to do so, uh, just a bit of good news for this Monday morning. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, Paul is writing, this is a, a crucial passage for us as we understand the grand story of God, that we are made uh, right and to be in right relationship with God, each other, the world around us, and even ourselves, and yet we are broken. <laughs> uh, and yet then there's this truth. Therefore, Paul writes, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone's in the King, the new creation has come. <laughs> We've been remade, recreated. The old is gone. The new is here. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through our King. <laughs> He's put our relationship back together. Not only that, and he gave us the ministry of reconciliation that God was reconciling the world, the cosmos, to himself in the king, not counting people's sin against them. It was this way that uh, Jesus, and Peter, and Paul talk about God's grand vision for the world. Uh, they, they use different words, all starting with R, to describe it. One says the renewal of all things. One says the restoration of all things. Uh, the other says reconciliation of all things. All things. <laughs> all things restored, all things renewed, all things remade, all things brought back carefully into its former glory. Right. Uh, picture something that needs to be restored, that needs to be put back together. It's tarnished, it's rusted, it's broken. But the restorer works hard at the process and bringing it back to life and reconciling all things. That's you, that's me, that's uh, the communities we're in, the relationships we live in, the systems uh, that hold us together. All things made new. Uh, Lisa Sharon Harper uh, wrote this beautiful book called The Very Good Gospel, uh, where she reminds us that God's vision for all things is shalom, a cosmic restoration of relationship, wholeness, healing, and peace. And she encourages us never to lose sight of the grand scope of God's vision. God's vision for shalom is for all God's children all of God's creation to experience this restoration. Let's, let's pray that passage back to God this morning. <laughs> Father, we know that we are in our King and therefore the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here right now. And all this is from you. You who reconciled us to yourself through our King Jesus. And even more so, you gave us the ministry of reconciliation. You invite us to join you in your reconciling worth. Father, you reconciled the world, the cosmos, to yourself through our King, and you did not count our sins against us. To you be all glory, honor, and power today and for every day, <laughs> forever. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends.